Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see one topic of theory of computation. This topic is Chomsky normal form. We are going to see what is Chomsky normal form of any grammar and as per the hierarchy of this Chomsky normal form, what are the different types of grammar? Right? Uh, what are the different categories in which the context-free grammar can be categorized? We will also see that. Now, uh, first of all, we should know that what is Chomsky normal form? So, any context-free grammar can be said to be in Chomsky normal form if all of its productions are in the are in any of these forms. Which are the main forms? A gives B, C, A gives small a, S gives null. Where S is my starting symbol, this epsilon is my null production. Null means nothing. Uh, capital A, capital B, capital C are my uh, non-terminals or variables and this small a is my terminal. So, if all, all the productions present in my grammar is any of these forms, is in any of these forms, I can say that my that CFG or that context-free grammar is in the form of Chomsky normal form. Fine, so this is the basic definition of Chomsky normal form. Now, the main thing to be understand uh, the one of the important things here to understand is which are the different types of grammar that are categorized as per this chomsky hierarchy all right so let's go into that chomsky normal form as per the hierarchy of this chomsky normal form our cfg or any context free grammar can be categorized into four main parts these four types of grammar are actually very important uh, in case of academics in uh, like BTEC, MTEC or in case of any competitive exams like GATE, ISRO, ONGC etc. Uh, this is a very popular topic that is being asked in various interviews also that uh, which are the different types of grammar and based on those grammars uh, various things can be derived, various questions can be asked. So let us understand this. Uh, in the basis of this Chomsky normal form or hierarchy of Chomsky we can say that our types of grammar are categorized into four. These four categories of grammar are type 0, type 1, this is very important to remember, which are the grammars and what are the specifications. Type 0, type 1, type 2, type 3, these are the main four types of grammar. Now, what are the things that you should be remembering? Let me categorize here. Uh, which are the different things that you should be remembering that what is the name of the grammar by which the grammar is denoted and what is the machine that can identify that grammar fine these are the frequently asked questions that you must be knowing so type 0 grammar is also known as recursively innumerable grammar or unrestricted grammar The name is same for the grammar or language. Fine. So, this type of grammar is known as recursively innumerable grammar or unrestricted grammar or such languages are, uh, you understand that internally, right? If I tell this, the grammars are also named like this, like recursively innumerable grammar and languages also, that recursively innumerable language or restricted language. So, in short, type 0 is recursively innumerable or restricted and the machine that can recognize this is known as Turing machine. Turing machine. What is type 1? Type 1 is known as context sensitive language. The languages of type 1 are context sensitive language. And the grammar, respective grammar is known as context sensitive grammar. And uh, the machine to recognize this type of grammar is known as linear bounded automata fine if i talk about type 2 it is known as the languages are known as context free language and the grammar respective grammar is known as context free grammar and um, the machine that is used to recognize this is known as pushed down automata in uh, our respective videos we will see these also in detail but the aim of this video is to understand the difference between these four grammars right it is important so type 2 is context free language the respective grammar would be context free grammar and the machine that is used to recognize this type 2 grammar is pushed down automata now type 3 the languages of type 3 are known as regular language the respective grammar will be known as regular grammar and the machine that is used to recognize this type 3 it is known as 
फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा इट इज अगेन ऑफ टू टाइप्स determinant finite automata and non determinant finite automata it is in case of these also that we are having uh, in pda push down automata also we are having deterministic and non deterministic so however we will discuss about that later but these are the things that you should be remembering the machines and the types of languages that we are having for these four grammars fine this is one of the important things to remember now apart from this the main hierarchy that you have to remember is i have already told you about this grammar now we are having hierarchy like this hierarchy means the relation between these four grammars the type 0 grammar it is our unrestricted grammar as the name itself indicates it is unrestricted there is no restriction in that grammar so it is the biggest form of grammar here i we will be having type 1 here we will be having type 2 and innermost we will be having type 3 so what are you understanding from this hierarchy that my any grammar if my any grammar is type 3 i can say that it is automatically type 2 and type 1 also fine similarly if my any grammar is type 2 i can directly say that it is type 1 and type 0 also similarly if my any grammar is type 1 it is by default type 0 so uh, this is one of the important things that you should know so that it can uh, help you simplify many questions fine so you should remember this relation between the grammars okay now um, the mostly asked questions are similar like they will give you a grammar and based on the grammar you have to tell that what is the type of this grammar fine again remember this thing that if any grammar is type 3 it will automatically be type 0 1 2 if it is type 2 if i know that any grammar is type 2 it will by default be 0 and 1 also and if i know that any grammar is type 1 then it is automatically be type 0 also and type type 0 is the most unrestricted grammar and now let us see that if any grammar is given to you and you are asked to specify that which type of grammar is it is now uh, then at that case how will you specify or how we can identify that what is the type of grammar so see i'm telling you the specification how we can understand first of all what about type 0 as i told you type 0 is the most unrestricted grammar so that means what the least number of restrictions will be in this type 0 so we are taking see uh, let us let me tell you something in all this i will write v for variables what is variables variables are also known as non terminals i will write t for terminals t for terminals v for non terminals because non terminals are also known as variables so t is terminals non terminals or variables is v epsilon is for null fine now first of all this is general right for all types of grammar now if i talk specifically for type 0 how we can how i can say that my any grammar is type 0 or not for example i am having grammar alpha gives beta in this case i can say that my this grammar is type 0 for that the only condition is alpha should belong to v or t star when v is compulsory and then again v plus t star and about beta alpha means this one beta means this one and for beta i am having no restrictions beta can be anything either variable or terminal or null what is this v plus t star means it can be either variable or terminal or null and what about alpha the only condition about alpha is alpha is having one variable compulsory it can have either uh, variable or terminal or null in the beginning at the end also but in middle we have written v that means what beta can have anything any variable or any terminal or null but the condition about alpha is alpha the condition about alpha is that our alpha in this case cannot be null the only condition or the only restriction in case of type 0 is that alpha cannot be null other than that means what alpha must be having at least one variable and uh, beta can be anything either variable or terminal or null fine if i talk about type 1 so the only restriction in type 0 is alpha cannot be null other all things are all right 
now if i talk about type 1 then type 1 is what this type 0 we have talked about that is unrestricted grammar having only one restriction this now type 1 is context sensitive language or context sensitive grammar in context c as i as i uh, have shown you the relation type 1 means what any restriction that is having that is present in type 0 will be present will be automatically present in type 1 type 2 type 3 also fine because as we know type 0 is unrestricted grammar but if any condition is there or any restriction is there that is present in case of this that is present in case of unrestricted grammar also so it will by default be in type 1 type 2 type 3 also fine so we have already seen that type 0 is having restriction that alpha cannot be null so this condition is valid for type 1 type 2 and type 3 also so apart from this restriction the another restriction in case of type 1 is if we are having alpha gives beta so the condition in type 1 is the length of alpha must be less than or equal to the length of beta that's it this is the only condition in type 1 apart from this condition fine so let me keep it in a box so that's all about type 1 now if i talk about type 2 and type 2 means what context free language right so what is the condition in type 2 the condition that is present in type 0 and the condition that is present in type 1 these two will always be present in type 2 so these two restrictions are already there apart from these restrictions the third restriction of, of type 2 is alpha will contain only one variable like in these two conditions what we have seen alpha can contain variable or terminal or mixture of variable and terminal but in case of type 2 alpha will contain only variable and beta can contain either variables or terminals or null means there is no restrictions on beta fine but there is your restriction on alpha that alpha will contain only variables so this is the condition in case of type 2 fine now we will talk about the last type that is type 3 type 3 type 3 is what regular grammar and we can say that type 3 according to our this hierarchy we can say that type 3 is our most restricted grammar so as the name itself indicates regular or most restricted grammar so uh, like we have seen that in type 0 one restriction is there type 1 one special restriction is there type 2 and one special restriction in, is there so these restrictions obviously they will be present in type 3 but apart from this in type 3 we are having only two special cases and um, that grammar that will be present in type 3 the type 3 grammar will be of any of these two cases only so the cases are that we can give vt star or t star this is the one case or our v can give t star v or t star so these are the only two forms out of these two forms my if my grammar is taking one of these from forms then and only then i can say that my grammar is type 3 grammar fine so these are the main conditions one two three and this these are the main conditions that you should remember in order to know that whether your grammar is um, that in which category your uh, grammar belongs to fine so this is all about grammar that we should know now um, in my next video i will uh, take some good examples and i will show you that how to categorize our grammar in any one of these forms and how to check that whether my grammar belongs to which of these types in a quick and easy manner fine so uh, i hope you have understood the basics in this video and in the next video we will take the various examples and we will have a clear idea that how to categorize our grammar into any of these forms fine thank you